I'm gonna make you sit there and watch me drink this entire venom. Alrighty, so today we're going to have a very fun video. It's going to be all about all the impacts I have, and we're going to test them out to see if they can do a couple of things. What I got here is three mag bolts, lag bolts, I think these are. We have some, sorry, lag screws. It's all right. So we are going to see if the all the impacts that I have are able to drive these through. So I have all the impacts that I have right here. Let's just make sure. Yeah. Two of them that does not brushless has a uh, regular four amp hour batteries in it, which it's uh, these two, the Quiet Strike and P236. Uh, the P23, P263 has a three amp hour battery HP. The P2. 3.8 has the 3 amp hour, the P239 has a 3 amp hour, and of course, I don't know what the model number is, but I'll put it in right now, the half inch uh, impact wrench has a 6 amp hour. So, we're going to try to get these, half, these are half inch by the way, half inch lag nuts, lag screws. So we're going to put these to the test and see what they can do. And yes. Uh, because of balance and how big these are, I do not want to slip, so I did do a pre-drill approximately not even a not even a full not even a turn. Probably a, uh, an eighth of an inch just so I could set it in there like that. So let's see how this goes. Let's see if the P238 can do it. Now this is not a timing. This is not time. This is just to see if we could even do it. All right, let's go. A little bit more. And it did it. Wow. And it did it. That is that is not hot, but it is warm. Let's see if we can take it out. Yes, it can. All right, that, my friends, deserves a rest. All right, next. We are going to do... Whew, that is that is warm. All right, so this is the hole that that just drilled in. So now we're going to do a new one. All right, let's see if the P239 could do, could do this. Now, I doubt it. I don't think it will, but we'll see. The, the screw is cooled off and dry, so let's see what happens. And it did. All right, so let's see if it could take it out. Yes, it can. What's the battery on that? Battery is at 75%. But let's see if uh, we let that go down. Now, that HP factor, that HP gives it a major, major boost. You know what? We're going to go with P263. Let's see if the P263 is capable of, of doing this. Let's see if there's an advantage of having just the, uh, 
just the socket without having an extender. All right, so that's on three, fantastic. All right, that's split the wood. That's too close to the, all right, we're gonna have to redo that one. Alright, so let's redo the P263. Hopefully it won't split the wood this time. Alright, All right, let's check the battery. Battery's full still. Three, two, one. Wait, let's zoom in on this actually. Go. it did. P263 uh, with the 3 8 socket. It did. It, it went through. Wow. Hot. That's hot. That's good. And that's good. All right, so let's see if the quiet strike is capable of doing this. It's on there. There's no setting. Battery is full. I bet you this is gonna be the quietest one too, if it does, if it is doing it. All right, another test to see how quiet the quiet strike actually is with a load. All right, so three, two, one, go. It cannot. And wow. You, it's quiet, but you, t my hand is numb a little bit because that really vibrates every time it hits. It's like, uh, I, I'm, I, didn't, I didn't even realize that, that. I haven't experienced that in an impact driver yet. To where you're doing this and it, the vibration is just numbing your hand. Oh, wow. All right, so the quiet strike is not capable of doing that because it stopped. It actually stopped moving at that point. So there's no point on just keep. If it stops, it stops uh, the momentum. There's no point I keep on doing it because it can't. All right, let's see if we can take it out. You know what? I want to film this. I want to do a quick filming for Ryobi Rebels, the Facebook group. All right, three, two, one. Who I could sm What's that smell? Holy cow, that's burning. Who? All right. All right, good. I thought that was burning. All right, I do not know what model. I forgot what model number this is. Like I said, I'm gonna put the correct model numbers while it's uh, on film on the camera. So this one, I hope this one doesn't come undone. I am hoping it doesn't. We will see. 
All right, so four amp hour battery, brushed impact, setting number three. When, it, when, uh, the, when this starts vibrating like crazy and your hand starts feeling a little numb, that means it can't do it. I'm not, I'm not going to push it too hard. Almost there. And it, it pretty much did it. Yeah, it did it. This uh, this impact did do the job. Now let's see if we could take it out again. One bolt still full. One screw. Yes, it yes it did. Wow. All right, it's a four inch flag screw. All right, now when it comes to Every single one of them is capable of doing it, but I know that they're just not power. Like some of them are just aren't powerful enough when it comes to this. So I'm gonna use. You know what? Let's put a six amp hour. Let's put a six amp hour battery in that. Let's see if it can do it. Let's get the hammer drill. Let's do a little. It's got to be out right here. That's good. All right. Now this one is for the six inch. The six inch lag. Alright, let's see if the P2388 could, uh, could put that in. With the P238 6 amp hour battery, it is full. Alright, let's see if it could put it in. That's what she said. Alright, let's go. Yes, it can. Easily. Easily. The P238 uh, could put easily put the 6-inch lag nut in. And what's the battery life on that? Wow. This might not have been full when I started. It might have, it might have been over 75%, but... Oh, there you go. It's at full bars now. It's still full. Alright, so let's take it out. You know what? We're going to see if a weaker one could take it out. We are going to use the one that failed. We're going to use the one that failed, the quiet strike, to see if it could take that bolt out. Six amp hour battery. Alright, let's see if this, we'll see if we could do it. Yes, you can. I could smell that motor. I could smell that. I, I think that is a, it, it'll, it does the job, but this is a case to where this probably isn't something you should use to do this. All right, we're going to do a pre-drill right here. And right here. A little bit of pad, but that's good. And 
And luckily, I have the proper size socket for the half inch for this. So this test we're going to do, P2, I do not know what the model number of this, uh, of the half inch impact wrench is, but we're going to do the P238 versus the half inch wrench. All right, so P238 first. We are, we are timing this. All right, so three, two, one, go. We're gonna put down. All right, that's taking way. Okay, so that's taking way too much. So it got, so this went a little bit past the threads. A little bit past the threads. That's to, it's just to keep on going, I'm gonna end up breaking, breaking this. I'm pretty sure it's capable of, capable of doing it, but I'm probably gonna ruin the tool by doing it. So I don't wanna ruin the tool. All right, so let's take it out. See how long it takes to take out. That's getting hot. That is getting hot. And there we go. Now that is going to be one hot screw. All right, so as you can see, which that's actually extremely long, uh, half inch lag screw, it went up to there. That's where it went up to. So now I'm just, it cool, I cooled it off, completely drying it, make sure nothing is there. We're going to do the half inch impact, impact wrench to see what this can do. Let's see how fast that how fast this is gonna be. All right, so three, two, one, go. All And there we go. It did it with no problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. Look at that. That seriously put it all the way through. No problem. All right. All right, so let's take it out. Let's see how long it takes to take this out. That just smells like a working tool. All right, three, two, one. And that is it. Let that, that's hot.
right, so those results were absolutely crazy. I honestly didn't think that uh, all of them would be able to do the four inch. And when it comes to the six inch, ooh, that, that reminds me, this is hot. Temperature, 122 in the front, 109 in the back, and they, they did the same task, only one succeeded. The front on this one, all the way around the half inch off, uh, the half inch impact wrench is a lot cooler. The front is 98 and the front on that is 124. So major difference when it comes to what these two are capable of doing. Obviously these two are the most powerful uh, impacts that Ryobi has. And so the other ones are capable of doing the job but they struggle when it comes to the tasks that we just did compared to these two. Now these two are, are perfect. Are they, they, these two will get every job that you need done. You have an extremely powerful one. This bee is bothering me. Uh, but yes, this was, the, like I said, the, the results were awesome. This was an extremely good test. One of many. One of many tests that I, I'm going to be conducting. Now, the quick strike didn't do the job. The quick strike failed. It doesn't, smell, it doesn't smell like it was burning, but it smelled like it was overworking, trying to do what it can't do. Luckily, uh, it, didn't burn out, it didn't burn out. Everything's still active. But uh, after a while, uh, if an impact can't do what it, what it needs to do, it, the tool vibrates like, a, like crazy to where your, your hand starts to get numb from it. And so because the impact now isn't doing anything, so that force needs to go somewhere, and that goes through the tool to your hand. But, uh, but yes, they all did it. I am surprised they all did it. And it is awesome. I love my Ryobi OnePlus tools. These, all these tools are beautifully designed. Some are designed better than others, some aren't, so that's it. Like I said before, this is going to be, uh, there's going to be tons of tests coming up when it comes to all these tools competing against each other, and yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be good. So this is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.